Hello and today I'm going to uh, show you the tactical awareness display in the A10 and show you how to use it using data link and uh, show you the symbology on the uh, TAD. All right, first we'll take a look at the uh, TAD. We've got it set up here. We're just going to move it down there so we can see it and um, we'll first point out the uh, the symbology on it. Uh, there's We'll start with uh, these square things. These are waypoints, so and they have a number next to them representing waypoint four, waypoint three, waypoint two, waypoint one. Um, what you see here is the SPI. This is uh, this uh, 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 step pyramid is the SPI. I'll show you more of that in a minute. The uh, fact that this one is yellow is it means we've got a uh, this one selected so if I change the waypoints here we can uh, see that the uh, waypoint that's selected is moving around this bullseye here is actually the bullseye for the aircraft so this is like a reference point uh, which everyone uses that's uh, flying a mission this triangle just next to it, it represents north and consequently this one represents west this east and this south this is the inner ring this one here and this is the outer ring. It de depending on your scale setting, the outer ring will uh, the outer ring represents your scale setting. So we've got a scale setting of 20 here. So this is 20 miles away, and then the inner ring is exactly half of that. So this is 10 miles away. What else we've got is uh, if we uh, zoom in, this can be done. First, we need to set the uh, TAD as soy, which can be done with holding H or coolie hat left, and we can zoom in using DMS forwards or DMS up and DMS aft, which is also on the keyboard home and end, and those will allow you to zoom in and out. And as you can see, the scale settings here are changing when I zoom in and out. So this this scale number is the distance from here to here. So if we zoom in more, we can see that there's a, a little diamond here. This represents, this is called the uh, TGP diamond, and this represents where the TGP is looking, which is looking off in this direction. So you can see that on the HUD as well, on the uh, TAD as well. Um, the fact that there is a box around it rep means it's, uh, this is currently sensor of interest. Now, um, I'll show you the uh, speed. We can uh, quickly set our uh, speed to the uh, targeting pod. Oh. You see the uh, you see the uh, diamond here moving. We're going to quickly set the speed to that just to show you uh, what the speed looks like. It's actually a stepped pyramid with three steps on it. This represents your own speed. It is different for other people's broadcasted speed on the uh, network. Obviously, the little aeroplane here represents the uh, represents your aeroplane. Now there are different modes to the uh, uh, to the um, TAD. To change modes, uh, you hit China hat forwards. Oh, with its soy, sorry. You hit China. You make sure the uh, TAD is soy, which is done with holding H or coolie hat left, long, um, and then you hit China hat forwards which is also V on the keyboard and you can see it is EXP1 which means it's zoomed in and then EXP2 zoomed in even more and then back to uh, what we first started with. Now the difference between this and EXP1 and 2, um, EXP1 has top as north, going up is north, down is south, left is west, and uh, east is right. And also, as you move the cursor using the slew keys, which are comma, full stop, forward slash, and semicolon, um, the uh, uh, TAD will move with the cursor, keeping it in the center. This is good for um, like finding targets and things and moving around with the TAD. When you've got it on, uh, this is just a, 
increased uh, decreased field of view so it looks zoomed in and then if we've got it back on this mode up will be pointing in the direction of the aircraft you see north is this direction uh, also on the uh, right here we've got the LL um, if we left click this it will change to MGRS these are the coordinate modes and so if we say hover over a uh, a, uh, a target there uh, or a waypoint it will display the coordinates down in the at the bottom here. So now we're in LL, this is longitude and latitude. latitude. And uh, if we click that again, it will switch to MGRS co coordinates. Also here, uh, this displays the, the altitude, this 760 on the bottom, uh, the bearing to the target, so 268 degrees, and how far away the target is, so 6 miles, that's nautical miles. On the left here, uh, we've got this button here, so this uh, 6. This will, If we click this, this will create a waypoint on where we're looking. So say we move this over to here. Um, if we click on this uh, 6, it will create a waypoint there. So we'll just do that now, look. And there you go, there's a waypoint being created. So that's waypoint 6 now. Uh, now I'm going to uh, show you uh, quickly uh, what latching is and um, this allows you to uh, get bearings and information, coordinate information about things. So uh, if we look at the TAD and we make it soar using H or left control, uh, uh, sorry, by holding H or left coolie hat, uh, we can zoom in using uh, home and end and or uh, DMS up down and uh, we can latch any one of these objects here and as you can see when I move over them they're temporarily latched and this puts a yellow line with an arrow on it between uh, me and the object I'm latching so we're going to do it with um, Farlander's aircraft here and to latch him we do left control up or TMS up short and uh, that will now latch him and we've got a few different ways of uh, displaying this We've got own hook, which will be from our own aircraft to whatever we've latched. We've got hook bull, which will be from whatever we've latched to the bullseye. And uh, uh, where the bearing uh, for the direction that this arrow is pointed in the, is in the bottom right here, and the distance is in the bottom right. Also is altitude is in the bottom right. Um, we've also got uh, bull hook, which is the other way around. So this is the bearing from the bullseye to him. Uh, then we've got hook cursor, which is uh, the direction from what we've latched to where our cursor is. And then cursor hook, which is the other way around again. Also, just one more note. Um, our current bullseye and distance are displayed up in the... Uh, top left here with uh, degrees, so 172 at the moment degrees and 23 nautical miles. Okay so now we're going to uh, switch into multiplayer and I'll show you the um, SADL which stands for Situational Awareness Data Link and I'll explain how to use that and coordinate it with uh, your weapons. Welcome back, and uh, we're currently in a uh, holding pattern for the uh, cross runway over there, which has got several targets on. Now, uh, I've got someone uh, with me, and they're uh, currently broadcasting their SPI. Um, I'm going to uh, now show you how to uh, look at someone's SPI and uh, point your TGP at their SPI. So, we'll uh, take a look down at the uh, targeting pod, uh, the, the uh, um, tactical awareness display. And uh, I'll point out the symbology. So um, if we hit China Hat forwards, we're going to go into EXP1, which will let us move the uh, cursor around using the slew keys as mentioned earlier. And we're going to zoom in using um, oh, China Hat forwards is V, by the way. Uh, we're going to zoom in using DMS up or home, and you can zoom out using end or DMS down. So we'll zoom in, and as we can see. Uh, 
we've got our own SPI here, which is this uh, three-stepped pyramid, and we've got a mini SPI, as it's called, and it's a two-step pyramid. Now, this represents uh, my friendly SPI, uh, and uh, he's here. So, um, this symbol uh, represents a friendly aircraft. Uh, friendly ground units are represented with a uh, X. And these are all displayed if you're connected to the situational awareness data link. Um, now before you even use the data link, we're going to need to use a net code. So if we, when we're on the TAD, we click the net. And we've got two numbers here. We've got own ID and group ID. The group ID is like a group for a group of aircraft, so at the moment we're in group one. Now uh, when two people are in the same group, they'll show up purple, so he's now purple for us, meaning he's in the same group. Our own ID is one, and say if we want to change this, what we can do is come up to the uh, upfront controller here and type in zero, one, oh, oh, zero, one. If we want to clear that, we can click CLR. Um, say we make a mistake and we type in a really large number and it doesn't work we'll get a CICU input error but we can just do this uh, clear this away by hitting the clear button now um, so we'll try putting in 06 into our own ID and there you go um, if you notice here that there is a 2 displayed inside the circle that is um, this aircraft's um, own ID and we know that his group ID is 0, 01 because because he's in the same group as us. If we want to change our group ID, um, we can click 0, 02 and click that, and you can see that he's changed from being green and uh, from being purple, and now he is green. So uh, if we want to find out what his ID is now, we just have to hover over him, which is called latching, and uh, just latch him there by uh, using TMS up and now uh, the bearing to the aircraft is given here the distance um, his current coordinates and his altitude is given here and we can also see that his if we click this uh, button here to go back we can see that his uh, group ID is given here under the send or 0201 and uh, also here we can see his ID 0, 02 is the uh, own ID and 0, 01 is the uh, is the group ID. So it's own ID 0, 02, group ID 0, 01. All right, now we're going to uh, make our TGP move to his speed. So to do that, we're going to uh, zoom in nice and easily using DMS up or home, and um, we've zoomed in as far as we can. And now we're going to latch the uh, uh, his mini SPI here um, by doing TMS up and as you can see this is latched to our aircraft so it's uh, and it's hooked to our aircraft so if we click the, if we click this it'll put it on to own hook so it'll give us a bearing to the uh, a bearing to the SPI mini SPI and, uh, and a distance so we're four miles away at the moment now in order to get our um, TGP to look at it currently our TGP is doing nothing but just moving around in a circle um, we need to set this as our SPI, so we're going to put our SPI on top. To do this, we have to hold TMS up while we have the uh, TAD as soy. Um, to make the TAD as soy, by the way, is uh, holding H or coolie hat left. And we're going to hold TMS up, which is left control up. Sorry. And uh, there we go. We see the three step pyramid has now moved on to the mini step pyramid. Now, if we go over to the right screen, uh, we make this soy by holding K or coolie hat right. Um, we can now slave this to our SPI uh, by using China hat forwards or V. And there we go. We can see we're looking at his target. We can zoom in using home and end or T uh, DMS up and down. And we can uh, attack the target if we want. If uh, you have uh, slaved your TGP to someone else's SPI. If the TGP is moved, um, uh, the uh, other person's TGP is moved, then the your TGP will move as well as it's slaved to it. 
So um, my lovely assistant Farlander here is going to quickly move his TGP just to demonstrate that and set a new speed. And as you see, the uh, the TGP has moved. So to counteract this, we're going to um, have to uh, set our own speed on this point, and we can do this by uh, making sure the uh, targeting pod is selected uh, as soy by holding K or um, coolie hat right and um, then holding TMS up which is left control up or uh, TMS up on your HOTAS and we'll do that now and as you can and now the uh, SPI is uh, separate from uh, his SPI meaning it will no longer move when he moves his uh, targeting pod. If you're uh, broadcasting your SPI to someone else you can turn on the SPI um, uh, as demonstrated here it says uh, SPI off you can display your SPI on the uh, data link by holding DMS left or the delete button on your keyboard and you'll see it'll say SPI on which means you're broadcasting your SPI over the net. If Similarly if, if you hold DMS left again or delete again uh, it will turn off like so. Now we're going to uh, show you a different method of uh, sending SPI so we're going to reset the TGP by making it soy using holding K down or coolie hat right and then we're going to hit China hat aft which or C to reset it. Uh, now what we're going to do is get our friend to send us some data which will include his SPI so when he sends us the data it will send us his sensor point of interest so we're going to look at the TAD again and he's going to send it now so uh, Farlander could you send the uh, data please And as you see, the uh, as you see, the uh, data will uh, appear on your screen, and it will be flashing. Up here, it says attack, which represents that you've got uh, a new attack uh, tasking. You've, on the left, you've got Wilco, which means will comply, and on the right, you've got um, cannot comply. And it will also broadcast broad ta uh, broadcast new tasking on both MFDs. You can uh, get rid of this message by hitting the acknowledge button here. And also, um, we're going to accept this tasking by hitting Wilco. And as you can see, the uh, flashing stops, and we've got a uh, red triangle here. If we move our cursor over the, uh, over the red triangle, we can latch it using TMS up or left control up. And it will, if, as provided we have it on own hook, it will now tell us the bearing and distance and the altitude of the uh, 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 of the tasking. If we also go back onto it and hold TMS up, it will move the uh, SPI onto it. This is close to a waypoint, it's uh, moving onto the waypoint as well, so we just have to be careful. And uh, I think that is on the uh, on the uh, red triangle now. So now if we do the same thing again, we can hold K to make the right screen soy and uh, or, or right coolie hat. And um, if we hold China hat forwards or V, uh, we'll now move to our uh, designated SPI, which is actually the, uh, <laughs> happened to be the waypoint. So uh, there we go. Uh, Another thing to note is uh, when the uh, tasking comes up, uh, if you would like to clear it, you can hit TMS, F, uh, TMS left and it will uh, clear off your screen without you having to press anything. With TMS left is also left control uh, left arrow key. Uh, to send data to other people, uh, you first want to take a SPI, so uh, we're going to move our TGP onto a target here. We're zooming in with home and end, or TMS up and down, sorry, DMS up and down, and home and end. And we're going to zoom in on a ZU-23 cannon here, and we're going to put it in point mode by uh, doing left control up, or TMS up. And then we're going to hold left control up, or TMS up, and it will set our speed there. Now if we want to broadcast this to uh, Farlander, we're going to go make our left screen soy by holding H 
we're going to have a look at it. Uh, we're going to move our cursor onto his aircraft. We're going to latch it by uh, pressing left control up or TMS up. And now in the right here, we have the option to send 0201 our data. And this is just our location for our SPI. So if we click that, it will send it to him. And now he'll get a tasking happening on his screen. This concludes the uh, TAD tutorial. I hope this helped, and thank you very much for watching.